Hello everybody. Welcome to day 49. Hmm. Today, towards the end of my meditation, uh, I was just feeling so much come through me like there's going to be, and there is, so much unconscious anger coming up in the collective right now. And I feel like that's something that wants to come through me is to share with you guys like there's a lot that you're going to see right now in your external reality that's going to look like hostility, rage, anger, just a lot of unconscious um, behavior is going to start surfacing. It could be in people close to you or just what you're seeing in your community or society or even the world at large. And to know that this time, you know, for those of us who have been doing the work, we might feel more sadness than anger because underneath all that anger is a deep sadness. You know, a lot of times we, we um, feel anger when we haven't given ourselves permission to feel sad, to feel our sorrow, you know. And I think for so many um, of us, we've, we've done that work. We've let ourselves feel that anger, you know, and we've let ourselves feel that sadness. But what you're going to be seeing is a lot of people who have been living very unconsciously. It's not, 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 it's not to blame nothing. It's just karma. It's just life. What you're going to see is a lot of that anger surface and it's just going to seem more, more intense than it ever has. And this is a deep purge right now happening and this is evolution and this is part of the process of the evolution of consciousness. And as light workers, you know, our our really our mission here is to hold space right now. Sometimes the best thing you can do is just to hold space for those dealing with tremendous amounts of unconscious pain. And as light workers, I know that there's always that impulse, there's that pull towards wanting to help someone, to wanting to alleviate their pain, to wanting to take it away or to wanting to give people an understanding of why they're feeling what they're feeling <laughs> so that we can, you know, help them reduce their suffering, help them integrate their pain, right? We feel that calling in our heart. But I, I, the reason I'm sharing this is I want you to know, right now the calling is that's coming through me that I'm feeling especially in the last like 10 minutes of my meditation. Right now the calling is to give space, to give distance, and to allow the collective to go through their process, to process their unconsciousness in the way that serves them best. And that way right now involves us allowing it to play out and coming into our, coming into our, heart and coming into embracing our solitude and our aloneness and really being an anchor of peace, you know, of spaciousness, of letting go, of allowing. And that's the way we can help most right now. Um, I haven't read the news in a long time. I just have stayed away from it. Um, I don't really know what's going on, truthfully. I mean, I'm, I'm, in the middle of nowhere, Montana. So I don't know what's going on as far as the news headlines right now and as far as like what's happening in cities. I don't know. I'm just going off of what I feel right now. And what I feel right now is that there's a lot of anger surfacing. And there's a lot of people who are so used to being in control and who are used to deriving a lot of comfort from being a very controlling person. And that these people right now are having that control kind of torn away from them and that if you're 
you know, and that this is going to create, if you're a controlling person, the energies right now are going to make you want to be more controlling. So if there's people in your life that are usually controlling, you're going to find that they're becoming more controlling and that they're becoming more worried and they're becoming more angry and that these unconscious patterns are going to surface with more intensity than ever. Um, and this can be hard at first for us to witness and to not want to intercede and to try to help. But know that this is a this is catharsis. This is a cathartic healing. That this is a collective purge of anger. That this is divine. And that it's all God. And that the um, collective unconscious anger that you may experience is not your burden. You know, I think as children, so often we learn as empaths, as children, so often we think that the reason other people are unhappy around us is it's our, it's our fault, right? It's some must be something we're not doing or that we're doing that's causing other people's anger or sadness or anxiety or stress. Because as empaths, we feel everything. We feel what everyone is feeling. And so we learn as children, like, oh my gosh, if my parents or if my teacher or if this person, this adult is upset and not feeling good, it must be something, there must be something I'm doing wrong. And so as we grow into adults and we, we become more awakened and, and, and we, we still have that, we still have that, we can feel everything, we can feel everyone's energies. And so I want you guys to not you know, fall into that pattern of thinking that it's something, if those around you are feeling this collective purge, I don't want you to, you know, get attached to that, to, the, to those beliefs as children of, it must be something that you're doing. And if you're feeling anger, let it flow, let it flow, let it express. Journal your anger. If you're feeling anger towards someone in particular, if you're feeling triggered right now, journal that and then burn it, you know? Journal it and, and like, <laughs> like close the blinds, no one's watching. I heard Matt Kahn say that once about anger journaling. <laughs> really, really let it out on the paper. You know, no one's watching, just let it out and then burn the paper, do a ceremony, and then you'll notice how that is a beautiful way to express and let go of anger. Scream into a pillow. If you're feeling that sadness wash through you, because you're feeling that collective heaviness come through, let it come up. Let it, co let it be a vessel for it to flow through. So, I had, it's, it's amazing in these meditations, <laughs> I had, Totally other designs and plans to talk about today. But it was in that last, I would guess, 10 to 15 minutes that I f really felt deeply into a surrender. This, the type of surrender where all desire dissolves. And that's when I felt this message wanted to come through. And it's interesting. In the first hour, hour and a half of the meditation, there's a desire to create a video that will get a lot of views, that will resonate, that will whatever, you know? And so the mind goes to work on like, ooh, this video will appeal and this, and, and, and it's interesting, the deeper I go into a meditation, the more the desire for a video to do well or to say the right thing or to have the right energy, it just falls away. And and in the last part of it, I'm just left with this is the message, and there's no um, there's no attachment to it. There's no like uh, I don't know what the agenda. There's no agenda at all. Like I don't. I had no idea I was going to be talking about collective unconscious anger today, but that is the message. Lots of it, and I'm going to say I'm feeling that we're going to be. 
we're going to be in the midst of this at least until the new moon, which I believe is on April 22nd. So that gives us a little over a week to allow this to play out. Um, and that's what we got to do is we just got to allow it to happen and we got to see the divinity, divinity in it. And as light workers, it's more important than ever to really connect to the self so that we don't take on that unconscious karma so that we don't feel, you know, um, weighed down by it. Because right now, if we can hold space, brilliant. If we can stay calm and open and allow those around us to just really expel it, you know, to just, it's like almost like they're, like the universe is just like helping them lift it out of them and it's just pulling anything that needs to control. And it, like, it's just pulling it out. The universe is really showing, you know, how we don't have any control and this can be very hard. It's hard for us, right? It's hard for us doing the work every day of letting go. Um, so it can be really hard for the collective unconscious. And that's the message. Just hold space, guys. Love yourselves. Take care of yourselves. And go within and find your truth for these times and what you're feeling and what, what, what is life asking of you, you know? What is life asking of you? Life is asking of me to hold space and to keep my distance and to just, you know, it's like this, that I'll leave you on this metaphor. Sometimes when we can see the collective, like smoke, we want to go rush over and try to put it out, right? But Sometimes when we go over and it's smoking and we come, we come over with our solutions, <laughs> we can just light it on fire, right? It's like pouring, pouring gas on a, on a fire sometimes. It's like what is needed most is space. So we can just let the smoke kind of go out on its own. So that's the movement. Just kind of let the collective smoke of anger and rage right now that's happening just, if, if we can just hold space, it'll just go out on its own. And when we go over and try to put the smoke out, right, we actually can end up inhaling some of that smoke ourselves and like poisoning ourselves and making ourselves sick. And then we take ourselves out of the game. And then we can't hold the space we need to be holding right now. I, and I know that impulse to go and try to put it out, but, <laughs> and you might try that. <laughs> Let us know how it works. <laughs> but really, uh, these unconscious patterns, let's just take the, peop the, the person out of it. It's, it's just unconscious patterns coming up that just need that space to kind of be seen and felt and fall away on their own, you know? It's like when you go try to talk to somebody who's fully in their pain body, like Eckhart Tolle would say. Eckhart Tolle would say if someone's really in their pain body, it just needs space because their pain body is just looking for somebody to blame. It's just looking for somebody to project their anger on, right? Um, and so l let that pain body just be with itself and, and, and the pain body of the collective and just kind of process its, process its own pain. Um, and, and yeah, and that it'll be smooth. Just let it be smooth. Let it be easy, right? So yeah. Day, I hope this resonates. <laughs> this is like last 10 minutes, I guess I'm talking about unconscious anger. So, yeah, I love you guys. Day 49. Namaste.